In this video, we're going to have a look at webhooks. Webhooks are a great way to integrate Hornbill with other applications. Webhooks can send information to an HTTP endpoint as soon as a record is created or updated, rather than relying on scheduled imports or continually pulling for data. We start in Hornbill administration where we navigate to the webhooks option and here we can create and manage our webhooks. In this example, I'm going to create a webhook that is run every time a new asset is added to Hornbill. The application option shows the different Hornbill applications which can supply events for the webhooks. Assets come under Service Manager application, so we will select this. We can now select Asset Created from one of the many available events under Service Manager. I'll set the authentication to None. However, using Hornbill's KeySafe, a number of securely stored authentication methods can be created and used for accessing your endpoint. Next is the URL. This is your HTTP endpoint to where you would like the data sent. I'm going to use a utility called RequestBin for my endpoint to test my webhook. I copy the URL from RequestBin and store it in the URL setting. Other options include setting the payload format, which can be sent in either XML or JSON. And a post mode can be set for the different levels of response from that endpoint. Last, we just have to save the webhook and then enable it. Switching over to the Hornbill client, I'm going to create a new asset in Asset Manager. I start by selecting the type. We're just going to choose desktop and we're going to fill in some of the basic details for this desktop computer, such as name, who uses this desktop, and some of the location information, like which country and which site. Once we click on Create, this will trigger the webhook to send the information to your HTTP endpoint. Switching over to the request bin, we can see our XML formatted data for the new asset that we added. This is now ready for your application to utilize.